What's up everybody? Uh, I'm finally making this Apple Watch replacement video. It took a little bit because I ordered the parts to get into the watch off of eBay. And apparently I didn't pay attention. They were super cheap, but they were coming from China and the shipping on that was a lot longer than I thought it was. And um, yeah, I probably would have been willing to pay a little bit more to get uh, parts that would have arrived earlier, but whatever, I got them now. I've had the battery for a while, the replacement battery, so hopefully that works when I put it in the watch. Um, and hopefully I don't break the watch, so we'll see what happens there. Um, are you serious? What are we doing? Every video, every video when I start it, you do this. You start this stuff. So I promise I don't abuse my cat, Izzy. She just is really loud and really noisy. Um, but anyway, so. So here's all the stuff. Uh, yeah, so there's the watch. There's all the tools. I think I need to go grab some tweezers um, and uh, a razor blade of some kind. I spent some time this morning watching some more replacement videos. There's two main ones. Uh, one is from Jerry Rig Everything. That guy does pretty thorough videos um, on a lot of stuff. I highly recommend his channel. And then there was another video. Um, just some random guy looked like he was doing the same thing. His was more real time. Uh, fewer edits, which I think is useful just because then it shows you you watch Jerry Rig Everything's video, which is great again, um, but he goes past obviously if it took him 10 minutes to get the watch face pried off, he's not going to show you 10 minutes of that where this other guy kind of does. So that makes uh, the other guy's video a little more boring to watch because he keeps, it looks like he keeps applying heat taking it off, trying to get in, applying heat, da 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 which kind of makes sense. The adhesive would need to melt, so you probably have to heat it for a while, but um, but yeah, let me grab some tweezers and uh, razor blade, and let's do this. Yep, that's me. I suppose you're wondering how I got here. Well, when you're recording an MP4 file and the camera dies, it doesn't finish writing the file, so then you can't use it then you try and scour the internet for ways to repair said clip, and you can't find one. So you kind of lose all the parts of the video that you um, figure most people would want to see. Which, in this case, the toughest thing about the Apple Watch is actually getting into the screen. Using a razor blade and just very gently cutting around the edges and squeezing that blade under the screen and then slowly working your way around the screen so that then you can pry it off. So that's what I did and I don't really have any footage of that at the moment. I have an 8 gig file on my computer so maybe someday I'll figure out a way or somebody, uh, if anyone in the comments knows, a good way to repair that clip because from what I understand all the video and audio is there. It just ended abruptly, so the file didn't get completed. So a computer can't read it until it's repaired. And I kind of don't want to spend 80 to to $100 on software that I don't know whether it'll work or not. So yeah, so feel free to ask me any questions about that part of the process. But uh, I guess I'll continue, because I don't want to scrap the whole video, I'll continue with... Um, uh, the point that I realized it and started recording again, so, um, awesome. I got the screen separated and off. You can kind of see some of the adhesive sticking out here. Um, and so, yeah, so it's still attached. I don't know if I need to really detach the screen. I don't think it's necessary. See, here's this adhesive that I really wish would stick, would not have come off. Um, so yeah, so I don't think I need to actually detach the screen. I'm gonna try to avoid that and just get this battery out of here. So let's see if, uh, if I can do that. So, oh yeah, that's satisfying. You hear the peeling. Well, I hear the peeling. You don't hear anything, I'm sure. Come on, battery. Let's see here, let me take a close look at this. Is this, yeah. Oh, there's that peel. There's the peeling. Okay. So, so 
light is not angled at the right spot, but there's a little Lego clippy thing. If I can keep this in frame. A little Lego guy right there. So I'm gonna try and detach that and then put the new battery in and clip it. So <clears throat> let's give this a shot. Put my thumb under there and uh, see if I can get this unclipped. I can't even see what I'm doing. This is so tiny. Oh, there we go. Popped. Popped right off. There's like little uh, gold contacts, like right, right there. And so there's clearly one way that this can go on. You just gotta snap this guy in there. And I felt it snap just now. So hopefully that is that. Let's we'll turn it on now this battery not charged at all you know what screw it. let's um let's get a charger over here and see if the if it does something different <clears throat> that might help tell me if I got things together right so here's this and I got it in frame oh it's charging See that little emblem? See, oh, well, it went, it was there for a second. Okay, so there's the Apple logo. Well, I, we know I got the, uh, sorry, I can't get a better shot of this, but it, it's, that's way better than it was doing before. So, um, hey, all right. So at least I got everything in there and connected correctly. Now I just gotta uh, get that battery sort of squeezed back in there and the screen back on. Let's see if I can get this battery tucked back in there. It doesn't, it's, it's backwards compared to the old one. This connector on this one, see how it's facing up like that? The other one was facing in, so it was facing that way. So that's not really cool, but maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, well, okay, we're getting somewhere. Oh, hey, wait, okay, I got it in there now, I think. Let's make sure nothing disconnected. Hey, you know, the screen's on. A little charging um, thing. Okay, cool, so we're good. So, I, I don't know, I guess I should heat this thing back up and see if I can get that adhesive to re rebind everything. So let's do that. So let's heat it back up. Oof, hot. I say not to heat it up too much um, because you could hurt the screen. So I'm just going to kind of firmly push on this and see, make sure hopefully that adhesive sort of reseals, even though I screwed up some of it. But to be honest, the, the watch, the seams on the watch, I mean, if you, uh, if you look, I didn't really screw up much. I mean, it looks see maybe a couple little scuffs there but considering it didn't even work before yeah so I'll just kind of give it some firm pushes hopefully that stuff sort of re seals maybe I'll just kind of do this nice firm kind of whatever So there, so we'll let it charge up and see how it goes. Yeah, success, success. All right, I was about to hit the record button or the off button and there it is, look at that. It is all booted up and working and being an Apple Watch. 
unlike before where it was just not booting it couldn't even hold a charge so um, hey okay so that deserves two thumbs up okay so um, yeah that was kind of awesome I sort of impressed myself I changed to a lav mic here so that I could you know my audio looked a little sounded okay um, not using a little shotgun that I have on this um, the camera but anyway so uh, yeah if you have any questions on anything that I did it was actually pretty self-explanatory um, feel free to ask me in the comments um, definitely tune in to Jerry rig everything or if you just type up into YouTube uh, Apple watch battery replacement some really good stuff comes up some really informative videos um, so so yeah so not impossible if I can do it then you guys can do it um, and yeah if you like this please hit that thumbs up button um, if you don't like it you know just do that that's fine uh, and yeah leave a comment and let me know if you have any ideas for any other videos that you want me to make um, by all means shoot that to me in the comments as well uh, I have a lot of ideas not as much time but um, I was going to include I still have not unboxed my um, uh, Aurora Nano Leaf or whatever that thing is called the the little light panels that you put on the wall uh, so I want to do like a video review of that so I was gonna include it with this but I'm not gonna do that right, right now so um, anyways yeah thanks for watching and see you later <laughs>